Okay, so today we're talking about midpoints. So midpoint, like it sounds, is just the middle point of a segment. And so it's the middle point of the segment if it's between the ends and the distance on each part is equal. Okay, and those are often shown by these marks. That means they're equal. So if we're finding it on the number line, the midpoint is just we add the two ends points and divide by two. Really simple. So here we have negative three, which is F, plus three, which is G, divide by two. And that gives us zero divided by two, which just equals zero. And then we can check one, two, three this direction. One, two, three, this direction. Nice and easy. Right, this next, next one has a decimal, so it's not quite so easy. So we have negative 3.5, which is A, plus 3 divided by 2. And that would give us negative 0.5 divided by 2, which gives us negative 0.25. So negative one quarter is going to be right about here, and I'm going to check. That's one, two, three, and a quarter. One, two, three, and a quarter. It checks. All right, so then the second thing we do is, well, what if they don't give me the number line? And so if they don't give me the number line, I could draw out my number line, or I can just plug my points into the midpoint formula. So that gives me... Oh, I'm sorry, I read this one. It says the midpoint is 3. So our midpoint equals 3 and equals negative 2. That's the other end. So this is really easy if I just draw myself a number line. So here's 0, here's negative 2, so that's my A. My midpoint is positive 3, and so that I just count. Okay, to get from 2 to 3, I went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So my pattern was plus 5, and then from 3, I just continue another plus 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, to get 8. And so B equals 8. So when they give you the midpoint, find the pattern and continue it. So if our midpoint is given, find pattern and continue. Let's add 5 to get from negative 2 to 3. I add another 5 to get to 8. All right, so on the coordinate plane, is um, really easy. We just do the same thing for both x and y because now we have two values. And so my midpoint of x is just x1 plus x2 divided by 2. My midpoint of y is y1 plus y2 divided by 2. It's the same thing we just did. I just have to do it twice because I have both x and y. So to find the midpoint between 11, negative 11, 3, and 8, negative 7, I go ahead and label. I always have ordered pairs. And so I'm just going to add my x's, divide by 2. I'm going to add my y's, divide by 2. And that gives me negative 3 over 2, and negative 4 over 2, and then when I simplify, that gives me negative 1.5 and negative 2. All right, so example 5 is one for you to try and then check your answer with your teacher next class. So pause the video and try now. Alright, so when you finished, 
we again have a problem where we have the midpoint. So endpoint, midpoint. Okay, because we're going to read our direction. We're trying to find B. So we can do two ways. We can find pattern and continue. So if I do it this way, my coordinates are A, which is my end, is 0, 1. My midpoint is 3, 5. And then I'm trying to find what B is. And so I see the pattern. So 0 to 3, well, we added the 3 there. And so if I add another 3, I get 6. 1 to 5, I added 4 there, and so I add another 4 and get 9. It's a really simple way. Some people like to plug it into my formula and do it algebraically. So my midpoint of x equals x1 plus x2 divided by 2. I plug in my x1 and my x midpoint. And so I get 3 equals 0 plus x2 divided by 2. And then I solve by multiplying both sides by 2. Those cancel out. So now I have 6 equals 0 plus x2. Of course, the 0 doesn't matter, so 6 equals x2, which is the same as I got there. And then I do the same thing for my y. And so I plug in my 5 midpoint equals 1 plus y2 divided by 2. I multiply to get 10 equals 1 plus y2. And subtract 1 to get 9 equals y2, which is the same as my answer there. So you choose which is easier for you. Do you like the algebra part? Do you like to find the pattern continue? And so this is another one for you to try, check your answer with your teacher. Alright, segment bisector is the same pretty much as midpoint, it's just instead of a point, it can be a point, line, or plane that intersects a segment at its midpoint. And so here, we're going to read B is between, so just like we were doing on our last lesson. We draw our line, put B in the middle, A and C. So AB is 2Y plus 6, BC is Y plus 8, AC is 20. So I add my two parts to equal the whole. Then I do my solve steps. I combine my like terms and get 3y plus 14 equals 20 minus 14. Get 3y equals 6 and divide by 3 to get y equals 2. Now to determine if b is a bisector, I have to plug it back in and do 2 times 2 plus 6, which gives me 10, and then 2 plus 8, which gives me 10. Does 10 equal 10? Yes, it's a bisector.